Welcome to the overview of the new 2025 Honda CRF 450R. I'm Trey Kennard and I'll be walking you through the advancements of Honda's championship proven motocross bike. 2025 marks the next evolution for the CRF 450R. Several years in the making, this new model integrates feedback from Honda HRC riders like Jet and Hunter Lawrence, five-time MXGP world champion Tim Geyser, and test riders like myself. But this bike isn't just for the pros. Honda's engineers also took comments from leading motocross media into consideration to deliver the most rideable and high-performing package to date. Today I'm joined by Team Honda HRC manager Lars Lindstrom and head of chassis R&D Shane Drew to review some of the details of the new CRF 450R. Lars, can you tell us a little bit about the bike that the Lawrence brothers are racing right now? Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the 23 and 24 bike that we've been racing um, has development you know, ideas from the 25 model that we've learned from working with Japan very closely with HRC and, and the Honda Japan team. Um, so. You know, for example, the 22-0 bike last year that you know many people raved about, and, and even uh, some of the other magazines I got to ride in, things really loved it. Um, a lot of that input was put into this bike, and you know that comes from all the development as a team, working with them, the Lawrence brothers, getting direction from what they wanted in the bike, which coincides with a lot of uh, customers want too, which is a neutral bike, um, easy to ride, nothing too aggressive, but something that you can ride and you know not get too tired from but also perform at your highest. What were the riders looking for with the changes? Uh, basically what they were looking for was more front end stability, uh, a plusher feel in the entire chassis, um, more usable rideable power, nothing to rip your arms off but something that you know um, has great throttle control and is easy to ride is basically what they were looking for. Shane, how did the team go about making the changes to achieve what the riders wanted? Well, there's been a lot of collaboration between the Honda engineers and our race team and our riders to develop a chassis with a improved rigidity balance, which gives a better comfortable ride and um, better performance for the whole moto. A new subframe mounting point optimizes lateral rigidity, reducing energy transmission from the rear of the bike to the front of the bike. This means more stability and comfort especially on a rough track. The mainframe is constructed of 70% new components. As a result, there's an 8% increase in torsional rigidity, improving overall stability. A 5% increase in torsional lateral rigidity ratio, maintaining the turning performance that the CRF 450R is known for. And a 4% increase in vertical torsional rigidity, enhancing stability in rough track conditions. Shane, how do these chassis changes affect the suspension? Well, with all the improved rigidity balance of the components and the chassis, it actually improves the suspension characteristics. So the handling is much better, it's much more stable, um, and much more plush for the rider. The rigidity of the steering stem, triple clamps, outer fork tubes, and front axle have all been revised, improving bump impact absorption and front end feel, resulting in a more comfortable ride. The 49 millimeter Showa spring fork features new internal components, including springs, kit fork inspired bending control valves, seals, and oil. These advancements help to control the stroke for a consistent feel, from initial movement all the way to the end of the travel, minimizing harsh feeling back to the rider. The ProLink rear suspension system has a new linkage structure that increases rigidity by 11%, allowing for smoother rear suspension action. The leverage ratio has been adjusted to maintain a balanced feel, even under braking, and improve bottoming resistance without losing comfort over small bumps. The shock spring, reservoir, shaft, and oil seal have all been updated to achieve a consistent feel throughout the stroke. These updates give the bike an overall balanced feel, as they're designed to complement the updates to the frame and fork. The shock is also easier to remove for service and adjustment, 
only requiring the removal of the side covers, muffler, and ECU. The shock takes half the time to remove compared to the previous generation CRF450R. Based on feedback from the race team, the front brake caliper is updated with a new piston and seals. This allows for a smooth, linear feel that's consistent throughout the moto. The caliper also features new machined accents. The redesigned bodywork maintains the comfortable ergonomics that the CRF line is known for. The new shrouds and side plates promote freedom of movement with a smooth, flat surface. Plus, the wider side plate profile allows for better contact for gripping the bike. We talked quite a bit about the chassis, but how has the CRF450R evolved in terms of the engine? Yeah, basically what Jet and Hunter wanted in a 450 engine coming off the 250 was something that uh, wasn't too aggressive um, when it comes to mapping an engine and airbox put together. Uh, something that was um, powerful, but smooth, um, and which is a little bit more what the average rider wants as well. Um, after hearing all the feedback from different people, um, this is the direction that seemed like most people would like. So along with the maps that you're allowed to change, it's got kind of a little bit of everything. To address the rider's request for smooth, rideable power, the signature Unicam engine uses new selectable ECU maps that offer a smoother delivery while retaining strong torque and power throughout the rev range. A redesigned airbox has a more direct pathway for the airflow, resulting in improved, precise throttle control and increased top-end power. The hydraulic clutch has a smooth, easy lever pull and precise modulation and Honda selectable torque control is back with three settings that help to control power delivery when a loss of traction is detected. A new extended exhaust header pipe creates usable and efficient power in the low to mid RPM range for enhanced traction on corner exits. This new generation of the CRF 450R platform maintains Honda's renowned durability and quality. All of these updates have undergone rigorous testing to ensure performance that lasts moto after moto. Lars, Shane, thanks for joining us and giving us some insight on the 2025 CRF 450R. Good luck out there and keep up the good work. The rest of the CRF performance family benefits from these updates as well. For riders seeking the ultimate motocross machine, the CRF 450R WE features all of the advancements of the 2025 CRF 450R but with top shelf componentry and upgrades inspired by Team Honda HRC factory race bikes of Jet Lawrence and Hunter Lawrence. Enhancements designed to elevate the experience on the track include a stainless steel Yoshimura exhaust, hand polished cylinder ports, Henson clutch basket and cover, throttle jockey seat cover and graphics, DID Dirt Star LTX rims and DM2 gold chain, coated fork tubes, fork legs, and an 18 millimeter shock shaft, dedicated suspension settings, gray metallic triple clamps, Rinthal Kevlar grips, and dedicated ignition mapping. New for 2025, the CRF 450R WE also has a number of aesthetic differences from the standard model. The cylinder head gets the new anodized red color used by the factory team. Also echoing the factory look is a new anodized finish for the fork cap and shock adjuster and the fork compression adjuster can now be operated by hand. In addition, the fork lugs are now black anodized. The CRF 450R's closed course off-road sibling, the CRF 450RX, also benefits from the platform-wide updates. Teams like JCR Honda, SLR Honda, and Phoenix Racing Honda trust the CRF 450RX in grueling off-road racing across the country, from DNCC to Works and NGPC. The CRF 250R receives the same chassis, suspension, intake, and brake updates as a CRF 450R. It also benefits from a revised crank, improving acceleration performance, and a new map switch that offers the same Honda selectable torque control settings as the 450. And of course, the off-road focused CRF 250RX also boasts the same platform updates as its motocross sibling. The 250RX continues to be the bike of choice of Phoenix Racing Honda in the east and SLR Honda in the west. For 2025, the high-end spec of the Works Edition is no longer limited to the 450. The all-new CRF 250R WE brings the race spec componentry found on Chance Hymas and Joe Shimoda's race bikes to the showroom floor. 
with the same top shelf upgrades as the CRF 450R WE. The 250R WE boasts a hydraulic clutch, which reduces pulling force by 16% compared to the cable actuated clutch of the CRF 250R. And it comes with Dunlop MX33 tires, including a wider 110 rear. For desert and trail riders, the CRF 450X also returns for 2025. And it's still off-road legal in all 50 states. On the dual sport front, the CRF 450RL is back as well. And for young aspiring motocross talents, the CRF 150R also returns for 2025 in standard and big wheel versions. This evolution of the championship proven CRF performance platform is designed to unlock a new level of potential, helping riders to perform their best even when the track is at its worst. From the overhauled chassis to the revised suspension and engine character, the 2025 CRF 450R rides lighter and smoother than ever before. Along with the lineup of the new CRF performance models, a brand new range of accessories are available. Whatever you're looking for, including stands, ramps, mats, toolboxes, and more, we've got you covered. Thanks for watching and head to our website for more information on the entire lineup of CRF models.